Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Today I chose a very interesting selection of balloons and I will try, I hope, I will make something very interesting. And it's gonna be interesting, it's gonna be unique because I've never, well I worked once with long balloons, but I've never made a balloon garland out of long balloons. Everything I will be using in this video, I will link and list in the description under the video. Every balloon count, balloon size will be in the description under the video as well. Without any further ado, let's try to make this balloon garland. Let's quickly go over everything that I have here laid out in front of me. This is what I'm planning to use for this balloon garland. Let's start with these long silver chrome balloons. I am curious to see if these balloons will look great and if I can incorporate them in a cool way into my balloon garland. Then I have these chrome green balloons, 11 inch Qualitex balloons from Loredale Paper and Balloon Company. This bag over here, the shade of green is almost the same. Again, Qualitex from Loredale Paper and Balloon Company, 11 inch. And these green balloons are a little bit more brighter in color than these right here. Moving on to our confetti balloons. I wanted to incorporate uh, purple into all this, but I didn't want to use right there purple solid color balloon so i decided to use confetti purple confetti balloons on top of this i am using low temperature glue gun balloon tying tool 20 pound fishing line and electric balloon pump all right i am ready to deal with all of my balloons i'm using my electric balloon pump from loredale paper and balloon company if you decide to visit their website and you want to purchase anything from their website, they have a huge selection of party supplies, then you can always use my code Anastasia10 for 10% off. I will be blowing my long chrome silver balloons with a hand pump because I don't have a proper nozzle that you can place on your pump to blow these and I don't even think it's possible to blow long balloons with electric balloon pump. If it's possible, let me know in the comment section below. I will be pairing these balloons. We'll see how that's going to work. If anything, I'll let you know. you guys I won't be using any long chrome balloons anymore I will be using my chrome silver balloons from Qualitex these are from Lauderdale paper and balloon company these are 11 inch balloons the reason is because long balloons are extremely hard to work with maybe I don't know much about long balloons so I decided to put them aside, maybe I'll learn more about those balloons and I'll come back one day to them, but not today. So, what I'm doing with my chrome balloons, I am pairing my chrome balloons into pairs. So two balloons, blowing them at the same time. As soon as I'm done blowing my balloons, I am pressing them against the floor to give my balloons more rounder shape and then tying these balloons together to create a pair like this. I am not sure what I want to do with my green balloons, so I might blow them individually or you know what, I'm gonna pair them as well and then we'll see what the design gonna be later on. I didn't have enough uh, Qualitex uh, balloons in chrome silver color, so I uh, decided to bring out whatever I had available in my drawer. So these are totally different uh, company balloons, and they are a little bit slightly different in color. If you can see, these balloons are more like of a matte 
pearl color and more translucent and not as rich in color as quality. So I still want to probably use them and mix them up in my base. We'll see. I don't know. show you what I'm doing with my confetti balloons and how I'm dealing with all of the confettis inside of balloon. Blow your balloon. Use your balloon tying tool to tie your balloon. Quality of these balloons are very, very nice. I like the translucency of these uh, latex balloons. Sometimes clear balloons are a little bit foggy and they're not as uh, translucent as you want them to be but these are actually really really nice to static my confettis I am rubbing my balloon with my two hands all over the balloon that way I'm creating static inside of the balloon and confettis are starting to stick to the walls of balloons you can use a little towel piece of paper towel and do it that way just rub it and you'll create the same static in your balloon. Give it a shake, rub some more, create more static. But be careful, sometimes um, towel and paper towel can leave white marks, foggy marks on your balloon and uh, it will look scratched. So hands are the best probably technique to deal with these balloons. To construct our balloon garland, I am taking my fishing line and tying my fishing line to my first pair. Taking my second pair and putting right on top of my first one, pinching these two pairs together with my fingers, taking my fishing line and wrapping my fishing line around one of the newly placed balloons. Push your clusters or pairs together and pull on your fishing line again around newly placed balloon pull on your fishing line push your pairs together be careful how hard you pull on your fishing line because fishing line can't cut your balloons and you will cut your balloon and balloon will be ruined if you'll cut your balloon start twisting your balloon like a light bulb until you close the hole right on your balloon that's it that's all you need to do keep constructing keep building Secure your balloon garland, cut a long piece of fishing line, hold it with one hand with your other hand, take the tail and wrap around one of the balloons. Now you created this loop over here. Take the tail and feed the tail through the loop. That way you're creating knots. Do that a couple of times to make sure your balloon garland is completely secured. Now, this column shape, it's not exactly what I'm looking for for this garland, so I want to switch this shape and make this garland look more flowy and organic looking. extra pairs of balloons. I need to pair them. So I'm taking two pairs and I'm interwining them together to create clusters of four like these. Here's the thing that I want to try. Instead of using my low temperature glue gun, I really want to try building my balloon garland with rubber bands. I bought a whole bunch of rubber bands on Amazon. I will link them in the description under the video. And I've seen a lot of people using this method, so I got curious and I really want to test it myself. Going back to hanging my garland and draping 
fabric. I will link two videos of how I drape my fabric and how I hang all of my balloon garlands. I do show an up close how I do both of those things in those videos. So go ahead and check it out if you're interested. So what am I doing with these rubber bands? So I'm taking one rubber band. I am stretching this rubber band as much as I can and putting over one of the balloons in my cluster of four. Then I'm taking this cluster, I'm choosing a spot where I want to place this cluster, and I'm taking this um, rubber band, stretching it again, and looping over one of the balloons on my base. I like this method because you can easily remove your cluster from your base and replace it. And one thing that I don't like about this technique is that if you're not using any smaller balloons to fill in the spaces, you will probably see that rubber band holding your clusters on your base. So I'm going to continue working with my rubber bands and we'll see what's going to happen. And last but not least, our confetti balloons. I am using low temperature glue gun to attach my confetti balloons to my garland. Here is what I have for you guys today. This is my garland of the day. I hope you enjoyed this video. As you know, I used a new technique to build a balloon garland. I used my rubber bands. I like this new technique. I really do. It's a lot faster, faster than low temperature glue gun and glue dots, but Whew, you can see rubber bands here and there unless I would have taken five inch balloons and filled uh, these spaces with five inch balloons, but I didn't have any five inch balloons and I didn't want to use five inch balloons in this garland. I can't stand seeing rubber band or any curling ribbon or any other material picking through my balloons, I just can't. That's why I love using my fishing line because it's translucent and you can't really see it. I like these pops of color over here of purple. I attach them with my low temperature glue gun. You guys, none of the balloons popped or deflated on me. I only lost one balloon, this matte silver balloon. As you can see, there's uh, two different types of silver chrome balloons. These are from Qualitex and these are more chrome-like and they are richer in color. And these guys are more matte, but they are still chrome. These are from Qualitex and these are from some other company and I lost one of these balloons, had a whole bunch of holes. Other than that, everything worked great together. Everything looks cute together and I hope you enjoyed this video. I will list and link everything in the description under the video and I will share a few pictures at the end of this video as well. This is it, you guys. This is my take on this balloon garland. If this video was helpful and inspiring, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with family and friends. That's always helpful. If you have any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll be there. I will answer them all. Or 
I will try. <laughs> if you're new here and for the first time, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more videos. And I hope you'll have a wonderful day and I will see you back very soon. Bye.